game. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Totally oh, added him to the call. And he's like, yeah, I'm totally rethinking this idea now. <laughs> I mean, I would be why, if I was him. Why did I do this? What was I thinking? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello, Blair. What's up? Hey, how you guys all doing? Doing great. Doing all right, Dad. Doing all right. I'm still trying to find out why Rumi sounds like she has a sock in her mouth, but I don't know <laughs> what you did a... different with your, your microphone, but you do not sound like yourself today. Because I sound like this and I want to sound like a really nice girl. Hello, how are you guys doing today? Well, we all know that's not true, so just cut the jig. <laughs> <laughs> the jig is up. Hi, Blair. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. <laughs> uh, welcome to our banter. This is kind of what we do here. Where are you guys at? West? West Coast? Uh, two of us I'm are in California, them. and then the other two are in the East Coast, Georgia and Tennessee. Tennessee. Uh, okay. Thanks for remembering God. I was going to say... I don't know what I was going to say, but... <laughs> okay, I'm in, so how do I do this? What am I doing? I okay. So, um, thank you so much to Blair for joining us tonight. Um, would you like to kind of go over what Sins of a Dark Age is for everyone that's watching? Um, the short version is it's a, an early access action RTS or a MOBA, as many other people call it. And uh, hopefully over the course of the the evening I'll be able to demonstrate uh, or we'll all be able to demonstrate you know some of the cool new things um, different heroes some crafting well I don't want to be able to craft but I can show you the system the out game um, you know meta uh, configuration stuff and all sorts of stuff <laughs> it's just easier to, to, to explain it all as we go along cool well, thanks again for joining us. Um, so, uh, how do I do this? <laughs> wait, wait, cause, okay, I'm, I'm assuming I'm creating a game, and then I'm gonna call well, it. Are we going to jump in the game or look at stuff <clears throat> out of the game first? Um, well, I'm already in the game. I think the first thing is we should all get in the same party so that we all end up in the same game. <laughs> Man, that sounds. <laughs> that really sounds fun. amazing. But that would mean I have to play with them. <laughs> All right, I'm inviting people. I got you, you. you. Wait, no, that one, that one, that one. Okay, wait. I think the game is really loud. Hold on. Okay, and then, and I see you on invite to party. There I am. So Woo! So we got a party of five: time bomb, gun grave, Ephus, 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 and Remy. Oh shit! What did you do? Already? That's what she does here. Come on. I don't like break stuff. Okay. Well, if if you move it, I'll get the, you in in a minute. If you click through the banners on the home page, there it says "Welcome to Early Access." Please break our game and tell us how you did it. So she's just doing what she's told. Oh, okay. Oh. I break the one time oh, no. in the world that Ruby well, no, has see. to instructions. The <laughs> only problem is she'll have to be able to tell you how she did it. <laughs> I won't tell you. She's just running her face <laughs> across the keyboard. <laughs> I won't know how I broke it. Those are always my favorite ones. There's like three or four hundred bugs on our public bug tracker, and a good chunk of them don't know how they did it. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> no, I please. Do this to me. Okay, so now we're in a party, and do I hit the play button? Uh, yeah, I would hit the play button. And then no, we, you don't hit we, the play button. What, you, what we want to do is uh, modify your search, because we're doing something really custom just for this. 
Uh, I guess, can you see the three things on the, on the right for North America West, East, and Europe West? Yes. I'd probably limit that to probably West. Okay. Well, us, our, us East Coasters will still get probably about 90 to 100 ping, but it, it, it's okay. Um, and then remove the items in the search. And you want to add uh, a normal Siege 5 versus AI. Blind, I'm assuming? Yeah. So yeah, blind is the only option right now. Ra uh, ranked isn't, isn't available in the public build. It's... Now, an interesting thing that we have here is that you can actually queue up a whole bunch of different kind of searches. And it's kind of like, okay, just get me in a game. And, but it's also, if you're looking for a 5v5 and you're waiting, you can jump into a 2v2 or a 1v1 scrimmage. And when your other game is ready, it'll inform you in the middle of that other game that your other game is ready and you can leave with no penalty. Okay, so, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and so, but if you go in a normal match, you're not allowed to, get, you're not allowed to drop out without penalty. So if it, I decline... Just, if I decline the other one, does that have any bearing? No, it just no. means that it won't prompt you to go into that other game for X many more minutes. Okay. Right, but there's no penalty to do it. Everybody has is under the understanding that scrimmage just <clears throat> means I'm screwing around and I have to expect that anybody could leave at any moment. So it um, doesn't... But it doesn't take you out of the queue. It just says for another four more minutes, we're gonna leave them alone, and then we'll find another game. So yep. you still remain in the queue. Yep. Okay. And, and cool. if that doesn't work for you, it's a bug and it should be fixed. <laughs> I see. Yeah, and we also have another mode. Um, it's not listed in this page, but you can get to it through your profile, where you can try out any hero. It allows you to buy all the items. It allows you to increase your levels through cheating or reset them and just do all sorts of different stuff so you can kind of sandbox and work out your best builds and, you know, learn how to play a hero and all that sort of thing. And it works the same way. You can be in there playing, and when your game's ready, it'll inform you and you can jump over. Ooh, that guy's cool. Now, now I could be wrong here, but I just did I just hear a developer say that, that it's a good idea to cheat? Uh, yes. I'm pretty sure that's what I heard. It, it, it is in the try hero mode, because because okay. normally if you have to play a whole bunch of games yep. to get leveled up and to experiment with different item builds, it can be a real pain. Um, we want to make it easier for people coming from other uh, MOBAs or RT ARTSs or haven't played before to be able to you know figure things out. Gotcha. So if if you guys. This won't screw anything up from what we're doing, but if you click on profile and then you click on heroes and you just click one of the heroes, you could click try hero and do everything you'd want to, you know, to, to figure them out. <laughs> How long has the game been in, in development? Um, tricky question. We've been in early access since March of last year, mid-March, yeah. But like our previous game, Sins of a Solar Empire, we were in beta for a year or two before we actually launched the game. So we're sticking to a similar schedule here. So we had to do a bunch of work to get it ready for early access. And then what are we on? We're almost uh, not quite a year in this early access. Okay. Um, actually, and then we actually built a whole other game originally. It was kind of a an RTS crossed with a MOBA. So if you count that as part of the development, it's actually longer. But we had to kind of go back to the, the starting board um, because the idea just wasn't working out. But... Same thing with our previous game. We did tons of stuff that didn't work out, and we called it, you know, ultimately re re refine, 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 refine until it's what we want it to be. Steven? Hmm? Dibs on Vexy. 
Vexy. <laughs> I don't know which one that is. Oh. She's cool. You guys want to. A ranged uh, support hero who relies on mischievous magic to aid her friends and disrupt yeah. her enemies. Okay, the pixie. Actually, that's a good idea. Why don't we pick our heroes um, in the profile screen? And that'll give me See, a chance. This is why you keep me around, Remy. Because I accidentally unlock really good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> and the only reason is is because I can explain a bunch of stuff without worrying about the countdown timer. Ah. Right. Oh. So if everybody goes to profile heroes, mm. and we'll just kind of say uh, who we're going to all play, and then I'll teach you how to configure them and um, set them up, and then we'll actually go in the game and just pick the heroes that we configured. I'm going to play Ziri. Okay. I'll, I'll pick last. She looks cool. <clears throat> Okay, so is there same as other MOBAs where standard playing, you know, one ranged carry, one AP, you know, magic carry, a support, and then fill out the rest with a tank? Uh, no. Uh, all the standard meta is completely out the window um, because, well, there's a number of reasons, but one of the primary reasons is that the there's dynamic events that occur during the match, they're quests, and depending on the particular lineup we get in that given match, you might want a different configuration of heroes. So we often, advanced players will pick their heroes to anticipate that sort of thing. That being said, for your first game against bots, the classic meta is probably fine in terms of hero composition. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll be Valamir for tank. So we got a Vexy, a Valamir, a Ziri. Alright, and then I guess I will play. Grug. What is that? Lassadar. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that guy looks pretty cool too. I was I was thinking about that one. Okay. And then, uh, well, I'll, I'll pick later. I'll just start explaining. So, um, now that we've all picked, click on your inventory. And do you guys all have a, a, a package or something in there? Yes, unpack. All right, start unpacking. Ooh, I got a hat and a bunkler and a spear. Ooh, me. Oh, an early <laughs> access bundle, too. I got a chest and a key and I opened the chest and with the key and I got another bundle just unpacking more so a bundle it's within like a bundle the present <laughs> <that> never <ends. laughs> this is fantastic it's the russian doll of gifts Ooh, we got and the reason we did it that way is, is so we can randomize what everybody gets it, it was just easier and it's only for early access, so we didn't <laughs> we didn't configure it <laughs> more seamlessly. <laughs> it's a kind of a running joke with the early access community. Fair enough. All right. All right. So, we so now everybody's got their stuff. Uh, you should have got a free skin uh, and some basic hero gear. Ooh, I did. I got a Scala skin and some crafting materials. Yes. And now if you go if you go back to heroes and then you click on the hero that you're going to you're going to play and then click edit hero you see the flashing four bags on the left click the first one and pick one of the pieces of hero gear Ah, uh, but I, you have gear points though, so you can only put. You don't have. I don't have. It's any probably gear points. it's only going to be the buckler, I imagine, at this point. Yes. Yeah. So as you level up your um, your account, you'll get more gear points, and as you collect more gear, each piece of gear costs different amounts of points, and then you can configure every single hero in the game with custom layouts for the gear. So you see the little. Actually, you may not see it, but Hero Kit 1 and 2. Do you guys see that below the 
the uh, the bags? No. No. Okay, that's just. Well, anyway, just recommended it, starting items. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, you can have different configurations. And then on the right side, as you level up, you get more and more attribute points. So um, I think you guys get like one point. Assign yeah. it into your primary attribute for the hero you're playing. Like if you're playing Valamir, you probably want to put it in something like health or armor. Ziri probably wants it in attack speed or attack power. And Vexy probably in special power or cooldown reduction. Cool. And if you look carefully at those bars, you see the little slash 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 XXX. There's diminishing returns on them. Um, and there's also a handicap where if you get into games with people who are low level, they get automatic attribute uh, increments so that it, it balances things out. That's cool. So, so it's not mm -hmm. a pure the higher level players are that much better. I mean, it's still going to come down to skill and strategy. And then in the future, you can customize uh, all your different... You can kind of plan out your builds uh, with your items, but we're not going to mess, mess with that right now. Uh, it's just kind of a neat uh, thing I like to toy with, you know, create different builds for all my heroes. All cool. right. And if you're all configured, we should be ready to roll. Cool. So we'll go back to the play, and I'll just hit search for match. Yep. If and we should get in right away since we're a party of five, and um, you're only searching for five versus AI siege blind. Do do do. do. Oh, we lo we lost a player in our party. Oh. Time bomb. Just oh, in. yeah. Sorry. It won't, yeah, it I... won't complete the search. Way to ruin everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I didn't fuck it up. <laughs> oh, shit, I did. I left the party. <laughs> <sighs> All right, everybody, everybody leave the party. Yes. <laughs> See, I was not rolling anything. Remy to make her look silly. <laughs> Nailed it. Sure. <sighs> That's right, Tekken. You tell her. Uh, I didn't fail. Well, that lasted almost a whole ten minutes. Then fail to send invite to Ephis because Ephis is in a game. Or in a He's party. In a party. Oh. Everybody has to leave the party. There he is. Time bomb? Yep. Are you in a party? Yeah. Says I can't invite you. All right, try again. Wait, hang on. Well, while she's doing that, if you uh, if you look at the top, there's a watch button, and you see the little two. That means there's two live Twitch streams, and if you click in there, you can see Lady Remy's stream, how many viewers, and you can double click it to automatically bring up any game that's streaming Sins of the Dark Age. That's cool. I don't see you on the general anymore, Fist. Oh, sorry. I exit because if I, I if I stay in there, I get bombarded. <laughs> 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 when is this coming? When's that coming? How come my cards aren't dropping? <laughs> okay, so now we have all five people in here, and we're going to search for a match. Oh, 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 don't search yet. I got one more thing. Oh. I want to. I want. I want to be able to talk about this at the end of the match. If you hit escape, Remy, am I saying that right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, can you click on the Twitch thing? Uh huh. Oh and yeah. Log in. Log into Twitch from the game. Okay. Now what happens is um, there's a few things. First of all, all your Twitch chat will automatically appear in the match while you're playing. And you can also communicate back via chat if you're not using your microphone. But more importantly, um, players who are watching your stream who play soda, you can give them gifts of like soda inventory stuff, like crafting materials, free skins, all sorts of stuff. The more viewers you have, the better the gift that you give out. Your account is not enabled to give out gifts. 
Please oh. email streamer at Ironclad Games to enable your account. <laughs> you broke it already. That's me. That's me. That's me. <laughs> I'll See, I don't, I'll I don't know if I like this idea. <laughs> that she can give out gifts during gameplay. This seems no, like no, a no. terrible idea. This sounds exactly. like one more distraction for Remy. Remy, what exactly. are you doing? Hang, hold on. I was typing. What? I'm dead, Remy. Oh, sorry. Uh, you, can you can only do it at the end of the match. At the okay. end of the match. Yeah, but darn. You can still type and chat with them in game. <laughs> yeah, she will be reading. Ch I already have trouble with her alt tabbed reading chat. While we're playing other games. That's why I have multiple she's, screens. She's gonna be like, wait, there's a bank heist going on. Hang on. Bank heist? Wait, it is going on. <laughs> your, your, your account should be enabled now. I just did it on the database. Yay! So, yeah, okay. So you're, you're It'll tell me eventually? Screen. Yeah. Or you have to log out and log in, but we can do it at the end of the match. Okay. The main, th the main thing is, is that <clears throat> you're streaming it now and you logged in. And then... It, Oh, you have to have at least 10 viewers, but I can see you've got about 16, so you'll be it fine. It jumps up and down. Yeah. Okay, alright, so now we'll get into a game now. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it, guys. And hopefully uh, at the end of it, we can give somebody for some free stuff. Oh, accept. <laughs> All right, we're picking too many Ziri. Oh, <laughs> well, Twitch is talking to me. Uh, who am I gonna be? Oh, I gotta turn off my voice chat because it'll uh, cause it'll, uh, it'll interfere with Skype. Oh, okay. Oh, the, we have integrated integrated voice chat, and it's probably gonna Ooh. echo. Ooh. Yes, yeah. it is. Dis oh, dis yeah. dis disable. And everybody, everybody, go to escape. Options, it. voice chat, disable all voice chat. I know the one thing that I was reading about this game is that there's not too many people playing the game, so it's difficult to okay, that's try out, you know, like play with other people. What is your recommendation for people if there are not too many people to play in the game? Like, can you... It's kind of what I said before. Um... A lot of people don't know it, so I'm trying to spread the word that it's really easy to get into a duel or a 2v2, mm -hmm. and you can be playing that, earning XP, earning reward points, I'll talk about those later, and you know, doing something interesting, learning your hero while you wait for your 5v5. Um, wait times vary dramatically, anywhere from instant to you know, like 30 minutes on the big games, but if you're playing you know, meaningful other matches that are intense and exciting. It, it's not as big a deal. And But a lot of people just come in and only queue for 5v5 and then, you know, they miss out. Mm -hmm. So that's my that's my best recommendation. Could until you do... We, until we actually go free to play and start marketing the game, that's just kind of the way it's going to be. Can you do a 1v1 duel with AI? Yep. Okay, well, that'd be good. that's good to know then. At least they can just play against the computer. 